Um, hi Pops. So we made a movie today. So the video for you guys to have a look. So this is, I'm just showing you kind of the, the path we take with the snow machines. I was talking to you about it on the phone. This is where we just turn around. We go out to the trail and turn around and come back on the secondary trail that I put in this summer. Um, it's just easier. I had to get off the sled and turn it to clear that tree, but you didn't need to see it. So this is just going back, heading straight back into the uh, property. It's the easiest way to turn the snow machines around. We come back, it's a neat little, actually, trip in there. Sorry that the camera's a little joggly. And Sammy's waiting for me to go to the back. So this is just the map of literally what I just did. It's just a little jot back in and then I met up with Sammy. She was already facing the right direction, so it was no problem. And you've seen this part of the trip about a thousand times, so I sped it up. So you don't have to worry about, um, oh, you know, watching it over and over again. Although you get to watch Sammy drive. She's getting better. She's not going fast enough yet just because she's still uncertain. She's got the skill. She just needs to build up uh, the confidence to do it and she'll be fine. Here we're coming out into the marsh. I'm going to slow it down. Where Sammy's headed is where we dropped a giant tree that was dead. It's a beautiful cedar. Most of it we cut up for firewood. What we're going to do next is the one piece that I can save and make shingles out of. I'm going to drive over, or we're going to tug back so we can get at it this spring. I'm driving around because I want to show you that loop I was telling you about back through the cedars. Now this used to be a cedar stand, I'm convinced of it, but the beavers flooded it out and most of the cedars died. So there's a lot of good firewood there now in the winter time that we can't get at in the summer because, you know, it's all marsh. So I'm just taking that little trip around because I mentioned that on the phone the other day and, and I wanted to show you what we're talking about. And then up here on the map, it shows you exactly what the path is on the map. So you can kind of get an idea. So you're coming down from the top of the property, go back, and then it's just this little jot around. Hi guys. All right. Uh, this is the marsh. That's the little trail I just came down. You're probably taking that tree today because it's down. Maybe one of those, but we have a big log, we have to move back, and that's going to be most of our day. I want to show you, right here is where we dropped three trees the other day. And then yesterday we came through, and both Sam and I sunk. Because if you see, right in here, this whole little round area is a little pond. I think it's a beaver pond, because that's a beaver hut right in the middle, or a home. There's one right here as well at the edge. It's all snowed over, but yesterday we came through there and we sunk in pretty hard. So we're avoiding that for at least a couple weeks. Same as over there. She's going to be, uh, oh, we're going to be dragging out that. We brought both snow machines because it's a big log and we want to use it. It's a beautiful cedar log that's been dead for a while, so they can make shingles out of it. This is all my property. My property goes back there even further. Over there a lot further. And then my, the corner's somewhere over there, about 200 yards or something, or meters. Some beautiful trees back here. Beautiful. It's a beautiful old cedar, still alive. Not all the cedars back here are dead, but all these. You can see the ones that are dead. So we'll be taking those down. So here I'm just gonna run over to where Sammy is. She's pretty much in the back center of the marsh. Uh, that last clip I was really out of breath because it, you know, I'm overweight. That's what happens. So this is just showing on the map where she is. She's where the circle is drawn, and I just rode over to her. So we're trying to pull this log out of the bush today. It's an old cedar log. It's about 11 and 12 feet long. It's definitely dead. We have it snow taken off of it. 
We put a small sled underneath. And we're gonna use George tow rope from you guys that we got for Christmas to try to pull it out using the panther. So we have switched snow machines because Panther is having problems with the traction. So we think Kitty's got more power, so we've hooked up the tow line to Kitty. Panther's out of the way, and Dana's gonna try to break it free. Bring it around this way. Oh, you brat. The one time was... Again, here, Kitty is running well. Kind of worked. Would have been better had it stayed up on the sled. So. It would have been fine. Yeah, had it just stayed on its sled. Alright, so now we've got it back upright. We did put another small sled underneath there. Um, we were going to use the bigger one, but then we realized with the tongue it wouldn't work. So, went back, got that one. Daniel just lifted it and put that under it. Which is no easy feat because it's a very heavy log. We're gonna try this again. Um, if I get this thing moving, I'm gonna keep going. Okay. So jump directly on to Panther and follow me. Okay. Um, we'll come back for all this, but if I get moving, I want I don't want to stop. Looks like it's now a matter of reversing and going again to get more momentum. So it had tipped over. So Dan has put it back up on its sleds. We're trying to move it again. Since we got the log moving again, he was able to drive it all the way over to where we're going to park it for the winter so we can get to it later in the springtime. Didn't roll over, no issues. Now I got to stop on Panther, get it going, and catch up to Dan because this is where we're going to put this log now. This is where we're going to put the log. Dan has rolled it off the sleds. A lot of work, very heavy. I cannot move it at all. This job is almost done now. Put everything back at home and, and it's good. So all in all, another successful day. Log got moved. We're all safe. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.